So this is red. This part is red. And then you need to multiply it by volume. What is the volume? It's supposed to be volume of the shell itself as delta Z. Okay? Is equal to zero. From here, I divide the whole equation by S delta Z. So S here will be gone. And you have delta Z as the denominator. You take a limit, delta Z is appro approaching zero. At the end, you have differentiation of NAZ by DZ minus. And then minus K triple prime CA, these two terms would be canceled out because we divide everything by S delta Z equal to zero. All right. And every time this is a result from our shell balance, let's call this equation one. If you integrate this equation, you see that right now the flux is no longer constant. From our last examples, NAZ is constant, right? But in here, if you move this to the right hand side and integrate it, it will never be constant. It means that the flux of A normally would go fast around the surface and then slower and slower. Then the next step, this is the equation from shear balance. The next step is to change the flux itself into concentration. How can we do that? <coughs> Normally, we did, we did use this equation. Right? From the last two examples, we always use this equation. Can we use this equation for this case? No. Why not? Because it's not binary system. Okay? If it's not binary system, so what should we do? In theory, in theory, for the system which is not binary, this part is, is not valid anymore. You need to go back to the theoretical part, which consider relative velocity of each species comparing with the average velocity. I told that that part can be applied for all, all kind of system, right? However, velocity itself is very hard to find in this, in this case. We will never know the velocity of each species. We will never know the velocity of the whole um, mixture. So in that case, it's still be very easy to use fixed law. And uh, I mean, if we can overcome the assumption for binary system, then we can use fixed law. Okay? In this case, for our system, we have, suppose we have four species. All right. The system itself is liquid. If AB is solid, how many species do we have in our system? Three, right? Because AB is not in the liquid. It is in different phase. It is considered as different phase. So suppose you have solid suspended in the liquid. We can say or we can take the system to be liquid only. That means excluding this solid. So our system would be only shaded area. We can take it out easily. Okay? 
So that's reduced our species from four to three. This one is excluded. How about A, B, and C here? How can we make it binary? If you look for each species, right now we have A, we have B, we have C. All right? We are more focused on A. So we are going to take A to be by itself. If uh, in, in normal case, the amount of C is normally much larger than amount of A and B, right? Because solvent usually present in the system in great extent. So people would try to do something like this. They will bind these two species together. Just like when we say that air is consisting of um, oxygen and nitrogen. If you can combine two species together and find the properties, physical properties of that, that combined species, you can take it as one single component. All right, so in here, we will take A alone because we are interested in species A. And then we combine B and C together. So now in our system, it is considered as though we have only two species. This kind of system is called pseudo-binary. Okay? And if you look into combination of B and C, since C is present in large amount, that means properties of B, C together support, is supposed to approach properties of pure C. It is approximately C, simply because we have a lot of C, very small amount of B. Okay? Or if you are not comfortable to think like that, you may say that this one is C star. It's another compound, but has physical properties near a properties of C alone. All right? Therefore, once we can take the pseudo-binary assumption, then we can use fixed law. The only difference would be right now it's no longer A, B. This would be A, C star. The pairing is different. Okay? In practice, that means you need to find um, diffusivity for this pair again. Because we, I mean, from the last two examples, we have never used, put number into our equation. We just derive the equation, right? So in your mind, this diffusivity may be just a constant. But in practice, you need to find a number that represents this. And for DAB and DAC star, the numbers are different. You need to realize that. All right. Now, the problem, as I said, is NBC here. We need to somehow um, get rid of this NBC. In the first example, we, we took NBC to be zero, according to the overall balance of B. From the second example, we took B to be NA using stoichiometry ratio. Can we use it like that again in this example? In this case, we cannot. Why? Because in our last example, in previous examples, A moved downward and B moved upward. They're both tied up by the reaction on the surface only. Along the way, there is no reaction. But in our case here, reaction takes place along the way. We never know how these two interact in terms of flux. 
we can never know the relationship of flux along the way. In other words, relationship between NA and NB along the depth Z change with respect to Z. Okay? Because NA is no longer constant in our case here. NB is neither constant. So in that case, using solid chemistry ratio to tie these two is impossible. So what should we do? In this particular example, you need to realize one thing. A is originally um, present in vapor, in gas phase. And A dissolves into the system first before reaction takes place. Solubility of gas in liquid is normally small, right? Solubility of carbon dioxide in soda water is small. That means concentration of A within the liquid itself supposed to be small. Not saying that A is also react or consumed by reaction. So that means the presence of A in this liquid system is approaching zero. So in that case, we will say that XA is approximately zero. In that case, we will ignore this term. You don't need to worry about this term. Okay? This assumption is valid only when you have small concentration of A. Okay? Now, so we have only one term left. This term represents concentration of A in terms of mole fraction. But in our balance, concentration of A is present in terms of concentration. So either change CA to XA or change XA to CA. It's the same. All right? And I'm going to change XA here to CA. Can I move this in here? Can I? Question would be, is C a constant? From our last two examples, C were constant because those two examples are gas. And C is related to pressure and temperature. But here, C is not, I mean, system is no longer gas, it is liquid. So C in this case is total concentration. C here is equal to CA plus CB plus C of the solvent, CC, or the concentration of solvent. We know that CA change with respect to position. B change with respect to position as well. Okay? C does not change because it is solvent, it's inert. So if you look into detail, that means Total concentration C is not constant. It does change with respect to position. But since A is present in small amount, concentration of A is approaching zero. B here would be approaching zero as well. No, uh, no, it, it, that's not necessarily approaching zero. But are we saying that C here is in great amount? So we will assume that total concentration of our species combined would be majority species C, which is constant. So we will approximate C to be constant. This is another, exam another assumption that you need to make. All right? If you do that, you will get flux of NAZ equal to minus Diffusivity CA star, CAC star, DCA by DZ 